Welcome to Stone Cold Classics and today we have something that hopefully for many of you will be very nostalgic. It is a 1997 Suzuki Vitara. It is a JX Sport. Um, and it's got what we used to call back in the day the Fat Boy accessories on it, which was all stuff you could get from your local Suzuki dealer to make these cars look a bit more funky. So this one has the spotlights in the front, the big chunky wheels, the wheel arch extensions, the graphics, um, and well, I think that's it. So yes, yeah, so all those bits to make it look a lot more funky. The rear wheel is obviously, the rear spare wheel, we've taken the cover off, um, just so you can see it, uh, is the original which this car would have come from the factory with, the steel. There's the uh, cover there. Perfect condition from Hilton Suzuki. And uh, yeah, so it's a 1.6. This one's done just over 15,000 miles. What a find. Uh, that is the original roof. Look how clear those windows are. Look at that. Plastic windows. Zipped up one at the back. So it's a full soft top, roof comes off for summer fun. And obviously most of these were destroyed because people who owned them were 19, 20 and destroyed them. But obviously Rust had a lot of, to do with that and as you can see on this one, she is being looked after really, really, really well. Those wheels are in perfect condition and unrefurbished. So the third owner who we purchased the car from bought this from a local chap in Wales to him who got it from me. Um, there's two previous owners on the, on the V5. So um, we believe it was either a Suzuki demo or a husband and wife had it because they had it effectively from me. Um, they were older, which is a really strange choice of car for old people, but thank God for them because um, without them, there wouldn't be any of these left. Um, and yes, he had it his whole life, serviced it religiously at MOT time. But unfortunately, when the third owner picked it up, they wouldn't give him any of the history uh, for various reasons, mainly because of decline in age. And I don't think they were very... Yeah, he knows the guy, he knows of him, and he knows how it's difficult to sort of um, approach those kind of things without upsetting people. But... Um, just looking around the car, you can just see that the mileage is clearly correct. The MOT history backs that up. Um, the interior backs that up. Look at the seats. These were fragile cars, all Japanese cars this era. Fragile plastics and, and upholstery and stuff like that. But this car is in fantastic condition. Over there are the original Hilton Suzuki Max. It's in perfect condition. Let's have a look here. Yeah. So 15,416 miles. It's been recently MOT'd. It had an advisory on the front wishbones, which had some surface rust on. So we've been under the car, cleaned it all up and protected it and made it look good again. Let's have a look in the back. So this, it's very difficult to open this. You have to unzip the whole of the window. Around. and that falls in or out and then you can open Hang on. it has to actually unzip it's not easy to see with one hand let's get that in there there we go so that is a part unlock it and then look at the condition of everything in here these cars are tough to find like this. Like I said, they were kids' cars, really, and um, they destroyed them. This is quite a practical thing as well. These all fold back, all fold down, and then they come up as well. Best done that, and they all lift up. So you can actually get quite a decent boot space in there. And then it holds it up, I believe, and pull it back, back down, lock it in place, bring it back up. Seat belts in the back. There's all the mechanism for the roof coming down. Absolutely immaculate everywhere. 
even even this bit of the sill there in the back hasn't been touched. Really, really incredible. Let's zip that up again in a minute. So here, let's look around the passenger side. Perfect mats, backs, seats, perfect. The roof, I mean, it's just, it's perfect, this roof. It has no right to be. Look at the detail of it. It's in such good condition and the red hasn't faded. This car was always garaged. One of the strange things about Suzuki is they always tend to have their bonnet releases in the glove box. There it is. That door card, lovely. Around here, no rust anywhere. Front wheels, look at the arches, just gorgeous. Let's pop the bonnet. I can do that with one hand. There we go. Have a look under there. Again, these things rust. Look down here. Absolutely pristine. Insulation's perfect still. A little bit of wax oil in there from new. Um, let's have a look at around as well because we've got some nice bits that have been done. You can probably see down there's a new water pump. So the cam belt and the water pump have been done. But it's had an oil, oil change, a new battery. It's had new front pads and cylinders on the rear. Um, and some flexi hoses for the brakes to make it perfect. And uh, yeah, so it's ready to go. Doesn't need anything. Oh, just no stone chips on the front. Absolutely, absolute one off I'd say. Try and find another one of these in this condition. It runs beautifully, I drove it all the way back from Wales. Um, admittedly, not an awful lot of fun on the motorway, but um, you know, if you had a, a place in Spain and you wanted to drive the kids from the house to the boat or to the beach, how could you have much, much more fun than in this? What a thing. Gorgeous, gorgeous car. The graphics are still perfect. The chrome on the Suzuki is still perfect. The centre wheel locks are always, always rusting and they're perfect. Mud flaps in place still. Um, pop this. See in there. This is obviously very, just tin basically, but still in perfect condition. Fantastic. And you won't find a bit of rot on this car anywhere. Start her up to so just typical Japanese motor. Turn the key, away she goes. A bit of automatic choke, and then comes down a touch. Reliable, usable, collectible, rare as hen's teeth. I've seen a f well, I have seen a few of these for sale. Always wanted to buy one because a couple of my mates had them back in uh, when we were kids. Always wanted to buy one, but Every single one has been a rust bucket. And then this baby comes along and she is fine. Dealer number plates, front and back, mud flaps, still in place. Everything's as it was, look under there. Wonderful, wonderful little car. If you're interested, we're gonna retail this car at 9995 and it will be on sale very shortly after this video goes live. Um, so go to this website, stonecoldclassics.com for loads of pictures and a full description. And if you like cars like this, please like and subscribe. We've got a big archive full of all sorts of fun, fun stuff with lots more to come. Got a nice Capri laser soon, another SLK, an Auto Bianchi, all sorts of mad stuff coming. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.